I'd wanted to do this since I was a kid, so there was no two ways about it. It had to succeed, and I'd, I'd um, sacrificed a fair amount. I basically quit my full-time job roughly six months before, and I was only doing motorsport on weekends at that stage. So it was a real gamble, and it had to pay off. So there was there was nothing else but to make it work. In 2006 was the first time I'd ever been to Le Mans and it was with um, a privateer prototype team. They had an LMP1 car which ultimately finished sixth and at the time that was the first year that Audi had brought the TDI to, to Le Mans itself and the whole outfit and the, the way it worked and operated. Obviously you see it in the pits when you're walking around and it was quite something to, to see but never once did I think six months later, seven months later I'd be talking to them about joining and then sort of, sort of the subsequent year being in ALMS with them. Pressure. Normally we would have been focusing on three cars and getting them all to the finish line in the top three positions, but now it was down to the one car. And what everybody basically did, all the engineers, um, all the mechanics, all grouped together and helped each other out. So there were spares being prepared in the background by mechanics from the other two cars. There were um, engineers that were looking into data that wouldn't necessarily get ignored but might not have been looked into in so much detail. So there were people watching everything that was going on and feeding that information back to us. So there wasn't pressure as such, but just we just really pulled together and it was a, a proper team effort and ultimately it paid off. Were you nervous? Were you... The, last, um, the last few minutes I was, yeah. <laughs> Up until that point it wasn't too bad. I it kind of had most things uh, in under control. I tried to stop thinking, oh, this could be a win for us. I had a good feeling it was going to be okay, but the last couple of minutes were quite tough, very long minutes. I just wanted the car to come back, purely to get Andre to be on the podium because it was such a big thing for those three drivers. And But also because, um, just to see the car once again, it was really odd. Um, there's quite, there was quite an emotional tie between the crew, the car and, and the drivers and everybody. And it was just nice to see it come back. It was, it was great. Afterwards, how has your life changed? <laughs> yeah, everyone looks at you as the, the first female racing driver. Yeah. Has, has your life changed at all? Um, it, it's odd because I don't see it as a, a big thing. It was just my job and I don't ever see myself as being different to the others, whether they're male engineers, male mechanics or anything else. So for me it wasn't a big deal. And I guess if you're involved in this sport and in this field, you don't notice it, but for, to the outside world, for example, they just don't know that there's women in engineering. I'm not the only one. My sister is, I've got friends who are. Um, there's countless female engineers out there that don't necessarily get the same recognition. So I guess, in a way, it is a big deal. Let's talk about your sister, how'd that happen? Um, we both got interested in Formula One at the same time. We had um, just come back from living in India. We'd been there for three years. So, um, I'd moved over when I was nine, came back when I was 12. We got into interested in engineering at, whilst we were out there and then coming back to watch Formula One, which is actually all down to her to be honest. She went back to the same school she was at, met up with her friends and they, um, they were watching it at the time. So it was just, uh, they had something in common and that's what we went for. I think um, for a long time Le Mans has been the, the ultimate pinnacle for, for what Audi have done and what's what sports cars is about and it would be great to win it again. It's a very tough thing to do, it's not easy and it's not about luck, it's about preparation and what everybody else is doing as well. You can get situations that arise which don't make it any easier for you. So yes, it would be brilliant to win it again at least a couple more times but in the long run I think it would be good to, to progress from where I am and have a much bigger role in, within the team from a development point of view, because that's ultimately what defines where you end up at Le Mans.
living in 